okay so welcome back so let's in this video handle our change password uh, functionality if user want to change its password so first of all let's go to our constants so user constants we have already defined in our previous video so i simply have to also define here the uh, request okay so that is not request that is reset because we have to after updating the password we also have to reset its value so I simply save it and now let's go back to our reducer user reducer and let's bring in here uh, the reset okay simply save it and at the end and so for the request this case is same so case update password update password request okay so this is the same this is also same so that is update okay and this is also same the reset one and also this is same so simply save it so use password request is not defined or that is update password okay simply go to the top copy these so update password this one so simply copy it close it go to our actions uh, the user actions and top let's bring them in we don't have use this here and also this here Okay. So I simply copy this one. This function this is the update profile. Copy, paste it here. So that is update password and then the password. Okay. So first of all, update. Let's replace here control D D with the password so we will send the request so this is application slash json because this time we only have to send the passwords and this is slash password slash update so this is put request definitely and uh, we have to pass it here the passwords We have to pass two passwords. Uh, one is the password and one is the confirmed password. Oh, sorry, one is the old password and one is the new password. Okay. And that's it. Simply save it. Close this one. I simply go to my user, create here new component that is update password.js RACFE to create my basic markup. And I simply use my previous file. I bring in everything from there control c so you have to update the update password and we don't need load user right now okay and then update password reset okay and then i simply go back and let's also copy this all stuff so copy put that right here so we have set the old password and the new password so that is old password and set old password all right and then the new password okay and then from the state.user i simply have to break in the error and is updated okay and let's also bring in the loading here okay and we check that if there is some error we will display the error we don't need the user here 
and then is updated so password updated successfully push to slash me we don't have a dispatch load user and dispatch here the update password reset and history alert error history is updated let's bring in our history okay and on submit i simply have to so form data i will simply have to set here the uh, old password and then the same here and the new password okay and dispatch in the update password and pass in the form data all right and now let's go back to our dot uh, pad this is a change password.html so i simply copy it from here so control c go back and let's put in here the fragment and then the metadata oops metadata title is going to be change what is password put it here simply save it go to top press ctrl h and replace the class with the class name and then for the form on submit we have to call the submit handler and for the old password uh, the value is going to be old password okay and then on change we and then we have to set the old password e dot target dot value let's simply copy it so control c put it here so this is the new password and this is also the new password right and on submit i also have to disable it so while it is loading i will simply disable the button so control c put it here save it and i think so we are done so i simply go to my app.js bring in the update password from the dot slash components slash user slash update password and this is also protected out so control cv and update password so slash password slash update all right so let's save it and now if i go back submit password request is not defined okay so if i go to change password you will see here this update password form so my previous password is g h u l a m and then new password is one two three four five six okay so let's click on update password so please enter your password <laughs> all right so if i simply go back and we are in the user password we are passing in the old data new or old password new password and also here so if we go to my backend controller and in the update password this one so i have to pass in the old password then the uh oh we have only password here but we are passing the old password and the new password so what i do is i simply type here request.body dot new password okay or i simply type in here password and i change it to my front end so go to here and this is the old password and then the simple password okay so password password 
and also here set password password so we save it okay so now if I simply go back and if I type here T H U L A M and one two three four five six and if I click on update password now so now password updated successfully and if I if I simply now log out and log in with G A G L A M you will see here invalid email or password. So if I simply type here one two three four five six log in and now I am logged in. Okay. So if we go to inspect I want to see something in the Redux state and the user we still have the error uh, so what I do is oh we forgot to we forgot the clear errors uh, the silly mistakes I don't know why they are happening so in the reducer user reducer we are missing here the clear errors so control C and let's put that here so that's why that error is not gone because we also have to clear the errors so simply save it and now we are good okay so now we are done with the change password also in my next video i want to first of all handle the forgot password okay so if user forgot the password then i have to handle that and also i have to set the new password of the user okay so i will see you in the next video